and welcome to a new video on my channel. Today I will show you how I converted a Revell plastic kit into a flying RC helicopter. Now sit back and enjoy. So I started with a used Blade 200 SIX um, and the Revell plastic kit. First of all I did some test flight with the Blade 200 SIX just to make sure that everything is working fine uh, before the dismantling and the integration into the fuselage. step I uh, disassembled the plate 200 SRX which is pretty easy by just removing some screws and loosening some cable ties and um, yeah there's nothing difficult about it so just remove the landing gear uh, the tail boom the tail motor and the wiring Now unboxing the Revell scale kit in this special version of a, of a special library. Uh, it comes with the instruction manual and a big set of decals, um, which I will not use for this one. And yeah, a lot of uh, plastic parts, um, level of detail is actually quite good. you can see the Blade 200 SRX uh, mechanics will not fit into the fuselage without any modification. The good thing is that there are no extension wires needed for the tail motor on this model. In order to fit the mechanic into the fuselage uh, I had to perform four cuts on the main frame of the Blade 200 SRX. After performing the cuts, now the mechanics fit nicely into the fuselage. Next thing is the tail motor mount. For that one I just modified the original bracket and bonded it into a cutout into the fuselage. In order to clear the servos and the linkages, I had to create some cutouts into the fuselage. 
So for painting the fuselage, I had to use a, a can uh, because I don't have an airbrush system and the result looks pretty good. So all the panel lines and rivets uh, look really great. So here you can see the final result after the final assembly. The, the battery is located right in the most forward position in order to achieve a good center of gravity. And the receiver and the speed controller are now located on the bottom of the mainframe. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this short video and as an outlook for the upcoming projects I have uh, three in the line. So the first one is a Black Hawk in the 500 size, the famous Airwolf also in the 500 size and the smaller Black Hawk in the 450 size. So stay tuned and subscribe my channel. Thank you.